Sadman from Bangladesh. My question is, if a democratic country's government rules the country with a with man-made constitution other than the rules of Allah, is the government Tagut or Kafir? Some brother in my country say that if a government rules the country with a constitution, the government is Tagut. Okay. I will answer, inshallah. <clears throat> Sadman from Bangladesh. He's asking about if a country rules with democracy or man-made laws and this country rules a Muslim country. Is it Tahut? Is it a Kafir uh, a government? What is the reason behind asking such a question, Sadman? One of two, either to know or to act. And 99.9% .9 of people asking such a question usually are looking for a labeling concept so that they would act upon it. So when someone says a government or a ruler is a kafir, this ignites the idea of khuruj and overthrowing rebellions, chaos, killing, and this is definitely not permitted in Islam. So, first of all, every country has scholars of its own, real scholars, not paid for scholars, not scholars that work for the government. I'm talking about real uh, independent scholars. Your scholars have to be asked because they know the situation on the ground. Secondly, the issue of ruling with man-made law is an issue of dispute. Now, in the Quran, where you go to verse 44, 45, and 47 of Surat Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, you will find that Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that whoever does not rule with what Allah has legislated or what Allah has revealed, then those are the kafirun, disbelievers, al-zalimun, transgressors, al-fasiqun, the sinners. So people usually take only the first description, kafirun, and they neglect the transgressors and the sinners, although it's in the same context. And why is that? Because they want to follow their whims and desires. By their concept, everybody should rebel and start to fight and bloodshed and chaos and killing just to end like Iraq, like Yemen, like Syria, like Libya and other countries. This is what they want. They don't see beyond the tip of their noses. They're short sighted. This is not what Islam preaches. Now, theoretically, those who implement other than Sharia law. Are they kafir or zalim or fasiq? This depends on their intention. And this is something only Allah knows. Because if someone legislates something that goes against Islam and says, Islam is not true, not correct, prescribing amputations for the thief and uh, a flogging of the person who drinks intoxicants and become drunks, drunk or flogging a person who slanders or commits adultery or, or fornication or stoning for someone who commits, this is all not valid nowadays. Anyone who says this and legislates something else, believing that what he's legislating it is, is better, he's a kafir, he's a taghut. There's no doubt in the mind of any Muslim now, if someone says, no, it's not better, but it's, it's equivalent. He's a taghut. When someone says, I fully adhere to the Islamic ruling, and I believe Sharia prevails and rules over, but I fear for my throne. I fear from the disbeliever countries. I feel that my people would rebel against me, blah, blah, blah. 
but I believe in Islam and Sharia, then he is a zalim or a fasiq. But he's a Muslim. So you have to look into things, but, and I say but with capital letter, bold, red, underlined. But you as a layman have no right to come and ask, uh, is the government kafir or not? Is the ruler kafir or not? Because this is a treat of the khawarij. This is a tendency to slander, to backbite, to curse, to work underground in order to undermine the government or whatever. And this is a formula of destruction fueled by the foreign intelligence uh, uh, agencies and fueled by shaitan. So abide by the Quran, abide by the Sunnah, abide by the true real scholars in your country who call you for unity, who ask you to be part of the community, not to destroy your community and Allah knows best.